peace. Yo, this is Saladin Allah. I'm um, just here on the Knowledge Culture Day, and I just wanted to build with you for a minute about that. Um, knowledge is the underlying significance or the fundamental basis through which all things are created. Culture is your way of life, so to have knowledge of culture means that you understand the rudimentary aspect of whatever your way of life is, meaning that you understand that culture in principle. Now, an easy way to see if a person really has knowledge of their culture is to see how true they are to themselves, first of all, and then how true they are to everybody else that they deal with in a social environment, um, because power is the truth. So, a lot of times, you can just sit back and do the knowledge on people and see the way they live and really see if they're being true to themselves and see if they're bullshitting or see if they really write about, you know, writing exact about what they say they live in. Because culture is either is either divine or it's destroyed, you see? Now, take it to the knowledge culture degree in the one of 14s. What does it mean to MGT and GCC? Well, some girl trained in general civilization class. These are the names given to the girls and women that belong to Islam in North America. Teach them how to keep a home how to raise their children, how to keep a husband, sew and cook in general, how to act at home and abroad. These training units were set up by a prophet by the name of W.D. Farah. Now that whole degree is dealing with the science of basic people activities, how to keep a home, how to raise children, how to keep a husband, sew and cook and in general how to act at home and abroad. Now, since these training units were set up by a prophet, <laughs> um, that means that the person that set it up or the project that set it up obviously had to have a functional or principal knowledge of those basic activities before it gave somebody else the chance to do it. So it's like when you look at God's, don't ever expect it to for your woman or any kind of woman to do something that you're not proficient in yourself. You can't be telling her how to keep a home if you haven't lived on your fucking own for four or five years at least. If you don't know how to pay your own bills, if you don't have a stable justice cipher born, you can't expect anything out of her. She's going to be looking at you up and down like, nigga, yeah, whatever, whatever. Um, how to keep children. If you're not an uh, active parent in your child's life, you can't tell your woman shit. How to keep a husband. You can't tell her about what she's not doing to keep you if you're not doing what you need to do in order to maintain her. Right? Okay, sewing. Well, sewing is almost like a lost art, but it is important for you to have a functional knowledge of how to sew. I mean, make, you know, basic men's the clothing, you know what I mean, sew buttons back on, anything that puts you in a position where you're not able or you're not enabled to speak what you say you stand it for, you know what I mean? Um, cook. That's definitely something that's important that, you know, God needs to know. Um, so it's like I'm saying, um, a lot of times, you know, guys go out to rallies and parliaments and all this other stuff. And there's a lot of lip service. There's a lot of talking. But a lot of people ain't doing nothing. Because if they was, they wouldn't have shit to talk about. Think about it. I mean, I'm putting these bills up here on the Internet so that people have an opportunity to see my angle or whatever. And maybe I might say some things or build about certain subjects that, you know, may make a person uh, spark them. You know what I mean? Or really make them think like, hmm, yeah, that is... I can understand that, you know what I mean? But it's like I said, you take it to that knowledge culture degree and it's dealing with basically how to act. Not just home, but also abroad. You acknowledge me? And it's like a good way to determine if a person is really about the culture is just pay attention to how they act. Pay attention to how they act. Not just at home, but also abroad. You know what I mean? And it's like knowledge culture comes out the power of refinement. You take it to that power of refinement degree. Why do we take Jerusalem from the devil and how long ago? It says because one of the righteous brothers who was a prophet by the name of Jesus was buried there. A lot of times people talk about things, but the real reality is buried there. Just being a basic human being, being a man about your shit, being a woman about your shit, that shit is buried there. And a lot of times they shield that dirt. <laughs> With I'm the earth I'm so and so supreme Blah 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 And I'm not saying 
personally a person okay. named Supreme, but that's just, you know, I'm just speaking. But I'm so-and-so guy, whatever, and they're not even being a, a, a man about their shit. They haven't even matured on that level yet. Same thing with a woman. She's talking about she's this earth, blah, 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 blah. She's not even a woman yet. So knowledge culture isn't necessarily, you know, learning mathematics and being able to do gymnastics and shit like that with your mathematics and doing digit summing to say knowledge culture, all borns, power refinement, or you quoting lessons backwards and forwards. It's just about a lot of times doing basic activities, how to keep a home, how to pay your rent, how to pay your bills, things like that, because within your humanity, exists your divinity. See, some of y'all got this idea like God is a superman. Now, nah, God ain't no superman. God is a super man. The earth is a super woman. She's not super woman. She's a super woman. Meaning, if you can master the reality of being what you are, you will be what you are. You see? So it's like, you know, and the reality is, I mean, that's when you've truly found peace. That's when you truly found peace. But you have to build that first. What's built first by the original man is truth. You see what I'm saying? So going back to what I started off with in the beginning, learn to be true to yourself. Learn to find the distinction between when you're doing shit out of ego and when you're doing stuff out of humility. You know what I'm saying? Um, because that puts you in a proper perspective to have true knowledge or to grasp the underlying significance or the principalities of a culture. Not just this culture, but any culture. Any culture. You know what I mean? And like I said, you know today's math being knowledge culture, that's Pardon me, I got the hiccups. I just came back from uh, dealing with some God degree. But, um, yeah, like I said, um, you know, if you want to have knowledge of your culture, be true to yourself first. Be true to yourself first. Find out your pro pro your proclivities. Find out your habits. Find out, you know, um, uh, your, your, uh, your conditioning. Look within you know, be true to yourself. Because if you're not true to yourself first, you would never have knowledge of not this culture, but you have never have knowledge of any culture. And your way of life is just going to be, continue to be destructive. Never divine. Peace.